Hello everyone, Lord Victorino here, and what I'm going to demonstrate for you now is the new Merlin DX. I know we, we keep showing this over and over again. Uh, it's every time they are uh, making uh, new uh, fixes to it. Uh, and they're not really bugs, it's just that uh, when they were originally designed, they weren't really originally designed for this. So I have the menu on right now, and as you can see, uh, it doesn't have those blinks anymore. If I move the joystick up or down, it changes what game that you're playing smoothly and easily now, which was one of the last things they needed to fix. Um, and it mainly had to do with the uh, the blinks between searches, which would normally be done by a regular laserdisc player. But, uh, you know, uh, Matt and Sean found a way to fix that, at least in the Merlin DX version. So now, the as you can see, it's nice and smooth now as you go through the menu. Uh, let's do a test game. Uh, let's see, what do we want to play? Uh, uh, the Dragon's Lair Prototype, that sounds like a good one. We're going to start this game. Dragon's Lair. Okay, let's start a game. And as you can see, we're playing the prototype footage to Dragon's Lair. Transitions are really smooth now, and they don't have any of these blinkings. And of course, the, they do have the blinks between scenes, but not between the searches within a game. Hmm. Hmm. Demonstrating it. Dragon's Lair, a fantasy adventure where you bring up the menu again, and let's say we want to play. Oh, here we go. Uh, the original Dragon's Lair, the animatronics version. And now, thanks to this Lair, a fantasy adventure where you miraculous a marvel of a product, when you start a game, you can choose uh, how hard you want it. Like, uh, let's go for night. Which is the hardest one. It's the cinematronic version, very hard, where it does throw in these very hard, um, semi-random rooms sometimes. Up, oh, and sure enough, we get another first one. And I made it. Can't believe it. So that just shows you it's not. <laughs> so I'm just gonna die right now. And as you can see, you can even see the death scenes are pretty smooth now. Because they instantly uh, show the death instead of having to do the blanks between searches. <laughs> Dragon's Lair, a fantasy adventure where you bring up the menu again, and let's do the Dragon's Lair Enhancement, okay? <laughs> Look how smooth that was. That is just so sweet. Let's go a shortcut there, and man, is that smooth or what? Wow, that is just... I mean, I'm playing the game, and I'm just blown away of how...
Dragon's Lair, you know? I mean, you've played it enough times, all these different versions. Well, now you can play, let's say, a Space Ace. Or let's even better, let's do Space Ace Enhancement for a change. Let's get that going. Look at that. Now space you're playing Ace. Space Ace. Yeah. And you can select which one you want to a menu system if you want also. Uh, let's go for Space Ace, just for the heck of it. There's more ship. Close main bay. All those little shortcuts. Really, really awesome. Kimberly, come in. Are you okay? Oh, sure. I'm just kidnapped by aliens, that's all. I'll save you, Kimmy! Get me out of here! Look how smooth that transition is. Wow! Defender of Justice Truth. And I know that those diehards that say, well, that's not the way I remember it. Well, not a problem. You can play regular Space Ace, Cinematronics version. No problem at all. Uh, let's go with uh, Cadet. Oh, there we go. There's more ship. Close main bay. Defender of Justice Truth. Best thing about it is you have options. Which I think is really the best part about this. Now, just to let you know, there's one that I haven't showed you yet, which is Dragon's Lair 2 Time Warp. I'll just do it just to show you. But because, uh, just to let you know, they are working on a special edition version of it just for the Merlin DX. And it's not ready yet. So, right now... Uh, when it when this Merlin DX is officially released, that game will not be available because they're working on a special version of it. And trust me, from what I hear, when the special version is done, it'll be all worth the wait. But for right now, I do have what I would call a test version. That's why I don't show very much of it because it's really not ready yet for 
time uh, the Merlin DX. But this is crazy, kind of a placeholder for it right now. And I have it for testing purposes. Look how smooth that is. I mean, it is just wow. I'm just blown away by it. I mean. So, um, as far as I know, you know, this Merlin DX system uh, should be almost ready for official release. Uh, so, you know, uh, just waiting for, uh, I think, one more thing that needs to be done to it. And then that'll be it. Uh, and then, of course, will be the, the, the wait for uh, Dragon's Lair uh, 2 uh, Enhancement Special Edition for the Merlin DX. Uh, and uh, that's definitely something to be looking forward to, I'm telling you. Well, for right now, that's the end of my demonstration. Hope you enjoy. And hopefully, uh, you know, uh, the official release will be done, and uh, you won't be watching me playing it, but maybe some of you will be playing it yourself and enjoying it just as much as I do. So, well, that's all I have for now. So you take care, and uh, talk to you later. Bye-bye.